see how much these super archers can get. In the meantime, we do have those super minions working down the left side of the base. A creative smash attack with some super minions, plus some dominating attacks from Tribe Gaming. Let me know down in the comments below which of these attacks is your favorite. Let's jump in. Alright, Kronos is in. First attack here from Tribe. And he is bringing in 26 Hog Riders. Bean is in at 9 o'clock. Balloon's in over top. I'm going to send a Naked Blimp in. Looks like a Yeti Bomb for the Scatter Shot in the enemy RC. Down goes the Expo. Down goes the RC. Can they get the Scatter? They will indeed. CC's lured out. Headhunter's headed to the Queen. He's going to drop the Poison. Some sneakies on the bottom side. Looks like he wants this queen to go into the town hall. Drops the zap quake. Takes out that invis tower. Looks like he may have gotten an inferno tower as well. Queen dealing with the lava pups. Taking time. Got a minute in. Queen's finally finishing up with the pups. Here we go. She's heading into the town hall. Got the wall opened up on the top right side. Queen's got a couple of storages to get through on her way to the town hall, so it's going to definitely take her some time. That balloon does trigger the poison tower early, which is good. And here we go with the hog riders from the top side of the base. Lots of hogs moving in. Pops Warden's ability with some headhunters. Hogs pushing in to the eagle to take it out. RC's there to help. Lots of damage being done to these hogs, though. Scattershot gets a shot off, and he's almost completely out of hogs already. He's got just a couple left. RC's pushing down through the middle of the base. He takes down the town hall. RC making her way into the core. That single inferno might be a bit of trouble here. He's going to freeze it up. He's got one more freeze after that. So has the RC's ability as well. Down goes the expo. Queen pops her ability. Poison from the town hall is going to fade away as well. I think he might have it anyway. He's got one freeze left in the bag. Phoenix doing some work on the cannon on the right side, but the air defense will take that out. Down goes the air defense. And I think Kronos is going to be able to get it done here. Still has the freeze in the bag. Doesn't look like he's going to need it. And that's going to be a triple for Tribe Gaming to kick off the match. Twenty-six seconds left to just a couple more buildings to get through. RC will finish off the cannon. And there it goes. Kronos getting it done with the Hog Riders. Even though the Hog Riders didn't make it super far into the base, didn't matter. Alright, we got Yo-Yo 23 in. I appreciate you, Mamba. Yo-Yo 23 coming in with the... Queen Charge Lalo. Yeti on the far right to help set this funnel, and he is going to log launcher down the middle. Queen's going to fight the enemy king, headhunter in to help. See where he wants this queen to go. At the moment, she's going to path up to the top. Might be pushing her in for the scatter and the enemy queen. Of course, that does give her pathing to the town hall. Is this log launcher able to take out the monolith? Not quite, but the troops that come out of it will finish it off. Very nice. Get the poison tower as well. Well, we didn't take it out. We triggered him. Oh, the queen didn't go in. She's so chilling on the outside. He drops the king in to help direct her back in towards the core. And very nicely done. She is going to head back in. She doesn't have to worry about the poisons for now, but they are recharging. We'll see if she gets in there fast enough to take at least one of them down. Nice freeze. I don't think he has yet to use a rage spell on this queen. He only brought two, so he's being very patient with them. It's like Electro Titan Ice Golem out of the CC. There's a rage spell for the queen. And there's a poison for the troops. He's still taking a lot of damage despite the rage spell. Ice Golem's going to freeze her up with her health bar. It is managing somehow to stay up above that ability. But the sweeper is going to trigger the queen's ability here. 
She takes down the Town Hall, takes down the Electro Titan, and we do have the Balloons coming in from the right side of the base. It's gonna freeze up that Poison Tower there. Scattershot gets a big shot off, and the Poison Tower finishes off that group of Balloons. Balloons continuing in from the right side. We got a Freeze and an Invis left after that Freeze there on the Multi. Queen's still pushing along on the left side. It's not looking bad. Expo's going to go down. He does have the RC in there with the Diggy as well, and that's going to help out quite a bit. Does find the Tornado Trap. Balloons are going to die. But I think he's got it. Just a few Teslas on the top side. Pops RC's ability. Down they go. And he's going to drop his Invis there. And that's going to be yet another triple here for Tribe Gaming. And it's crushed. And nicely done from YoYo23. Alright, G-Nuts is in. Coming in with 10 Super Minions. He's got a couple of Electro Titans. And he's got the Super Archer Blimp. He's just going to start off with a bunch of Super Minions on the left side. Gordon is in. We'll see the Blimp, I assume. There it is. And the Warden's ability. Nicely done. Catches the Blimp just in time. It's going to drop it right on that scatter shot. There we go. See how much these super archers can get. In the meantime, we do have those super minions working down the left side of the base. Got the clones, he's got the rage, the invis. Super archers doing their job here. Town hall goes down. Let's see if they can get the monolith. Down goes the sweeper. That should help out the super minions a bit. Monolith drops. He's got a nice big chunk of the base cleared out. Scatter shot doesn't quite go down, but it is damaged. No builder huts to bring it back. He's gonna have to fight this other sweeper. He's got a regular golem coming in with the king and the two electro titans, and then the queen yeti ice golem following them up. So it's kind of just a kill squad of super minions. Ops king's ability. Of course, he's got to beat a wall here to try and get to that enemy queen. Down she goes. Electro Titans taking out them Skelly Traps. And we got the RC from the bottom side of the base. More Skelly Traps, not a big deal. Zap, zap. Down they go. Electro Titans. Very nice for that. Let's see if he's got enough to get through. RC can handle these Teslas on the outside. Groups might get a little bit stuck behind these walls here. Again, that scatter shot is low. The RC's ability, if he uses it here, I don't think he needs to, but he does anyway, which is fine. Takes it out. Down goes the Expo. Now, the RC may die to the King. I think he's got enough here to get it done. We've got the Phoenix on the bottom side for cleanup. We've got a Baby Dragon for cleanup. No air targeting defenses, so they alone can probably finish it up, as long as they don't find traps. But we do have the Queen as well, with the Diggy, with the Unicorn, and her ability. And it's going to be a triple for Thunder Republic. So this is going to keep them just barely still in this match. They will have to get some defenses, though. Got a little Golemite there as well. Crazy that the Golemite at this level looks stronger than a whole Golem at the lower levels. <laughs> Very nicely done here to G-Nuts, keeping his team in the match. All right, Rakira is kicking it off. We got another Skelly Donut here from him going for the Monolith and the Clan Castle. Let's see if he gets some last invis. Well, not the last, but the next one. It's the last one he's going to need for this because he gets both of the buildings he's after. A couple of balloons in from the top side. A few barbs as well. A few more rocket loons. And here comes the Flame Flinger. He's got one Hog Rider to check for any more traps or skellies. Gets the mortar out of the way with the last couple of rocket balloons. The Flame Flinger is going to work its way up towards the Eagle. We've got the King and the Electro Titan in here from the bottom right. King works in for the Scatter. Here comes the RC to help as well. 
Make their way in. Drops the invis to get the king to actually go into this compartment. Now they can take care of the scatter, take out the enemy queen. His queen's coming in. She's gonna make she's gonna be making her way into the town hall. So she'll head down towards six. RC and King doing a nice job here. Take out the poison tower. Still have that Electro Titan as well helping out. Flame Flinger got a little sidetracked, finally making its way up towards the Eagle. We did funnel for the Queen to go in. RC's gonna work on taking out this single Inferno. She triggers the traps as well. That will be out of the way. Queen's gonna step up, pop her ability here, and down goes the Town Hall. And here comes the Lalo, and there's very little base even left to Lalo. Pop to the Warden's ability as the Poison Tower goes off. Balloons moving their way through. Down go these last couple of defenses on the left side. He does have that multi in the core and the multi on the top side, but the Flame Flinger's there to help out with that. Plus, we got whatever troops are in there. Here we go. Balloons moving into the multi. Multi's actually doing a good job of taking them out. He's got... A group of balloons to send in on the top side. Flame Flinger's gonna work on the multi in the core now. It's gonna be the last defense here in a second. And then just a couple of buildings for cleanup. And this is smashed. Hirez coming in, wrapping up this match with another triple. Nicely done by Tribe Gaming. So they're gonna finish at 13. And there we have it. Congrats to Tribe Gaming for picking up the win. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to hit that thumbs up down below and consider hitting subscribe as well. Also, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out some of my previous war recaps like the Lotus Gaming one we did the other day. Some more great attacks in that one. But that's it for this video. Thank you guys for stopping by and I'll catch you all tomorrow.